this is our uh, upper gate. I'm going to show you about a little bit how the mechanism of the interlock works and what to look at for uh, basically adjustment on it. Um, so the first thing to set is if the elevator is always already up, we just have to re-tap the button. We heard it unlocked and we're able to come and open the door. Now we can see that this is very flimsy. And we can see that the height of the travel distance of the latch goes up and down. So it's very important to go ahead and brace this uh, post to make sure it doesn't move. Same thing as, as on the other side. Now when this closes, we want to make sure that it goes completely dead center of its uh, interlock. If we don't have that dead center latch, it won't go in completely. It needs to be completely pushed in for it to relock. And for the elevator to take off again, it needs to be locked. If the elevator door is open, the elevator doesn't travel. If the door is halfly closed, it still doesn't travel. We need to really make sure it's in there, that it locks, and then I can unlock it. Now I'm able to travel down with the elevator. Okay, All right, so these are inside of our interlocks. So we're just gonna go through a little bit how it works. Um, we have two circuits inside this. We have the unlocking, which is the solenoid. It lifts up to unlock. And then we have the two safety switches, which is another circuit. So to close the door, we need to insert the latch through the hole. We need to make sure that it's centered. Why do we need to make sure it's centered? So that it hits inside of the first latch correctly and pushes it in. Now we saw as right as I push this in, our <coughs> locking locked the door. So to unlock, we need to lift. And that's what's unlocking our door. The micro switch is here. Now we can see when the door is locked, this switch is not activated, so I can click it. If you can click it, that means it's safe. Same thing for the lower one. The lower switch is this basket right here. If the latch is pulled out, you can't have switch. You need to make sure that it's pushed in. You see that little movement on the bottom there to make sure that the interlock is completely inside for both of the micro switches to be released to make the elevator safe. 